If you're new to our channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Welcome to the Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener. I'm Joy Baird. We're going to get some peppers started from seed today. Now peppers, by the book, typically you start them 8 to 10 weeks before your last average frost date for your particular growing area. You can find that information by going to your favorite search engine and typing in last average frost date and insert your zip code there and it'll give that information. You can also call your local university extension office and they can provide that for you. So we are planting our peppers about 12 weeks before our last average frost date. And we typically plant them out in the garden over, around, near the Memorial Day weekend based on the long range forecast. We've planted them a week early, we've planted them two weeks after. So the reason why we are starting them so much earlier, sometimes two to four weeks before we would normally start them, that we have followed that recommendation in the past two years, is at the time of planting outdoors, we did not have good, really tall, structured, healthy, canopied peppers. We had very small peppers and they just didn't produce the way we wanted them to. And the other disadvantage in that scenario is if you've got a pepper that's four inches tall and you're transplanting it out versus a pepper that's 10 or 12 inches tall, the time duration from planting to first harvest is much longer and being here for us in zone five we've only got so much of a window in which we can these things will grow outside before the first frost in the fall comes so we want to get the biggest healthiest plant that we can get started in a start get it transplanted out the appropriate time when the soil is about 65 60 65 degrees and it can already be well on its way to producing peppers so that's why we're starting them early and we the past two years we'd done the eight to ten weeks prior to that we had started them earlier as we have now and then we kind of trickled off and got you know did things by the book and it didn't work out so well for us so keep that in mind just because it says do it this way doesn't mean it will always work out so what we have here we're we're doing a space saving planting technique early on and then I'll, and we'll move them up to a seed starting tray We've got party cups. Uh, we've got, uh, I think we've got 14 to 10, 15 different varieties of peppers from mild to hot peppers. And you definitely want to label these uh, so you know what you, you're getting into when transplanting them out. Not that they're going to cross pollinate necessarily. There can be some chances of that. But just so you know that, oh, this is a jalapeno. This is a habanero. This is a, a sweet bell pepper. Just the way you plant them out. So we've got the party cups. As you see, they're not all the way full. They're about three quarters of the way full. You don't have to heap these things full of uh, potting mix. That's what we're using with a slow release fertilizer. The reason being is they're going, we're going to mass plant these, probably 10 or, 10 or so seeds per cup based on the variety. And then we'll wean it down to the best four or five. And when we wean them down, we'll be moving them over to a root maker tray. This is a 32 cell tray. And this is where they will stay until they go outside. The advantage to the root maker tray, as you see, there are strategic holes punctured into the tray itself, molded, in order to produce root follicles and a root development and air prune the roots. Um, and they no wrap around like you get in a party cup or the traditional uh, plastic pots. Um, so it works really well. You can see that what it looks like right here. The, the advantages of the roots and the more roots and the more root follicles you have when you transplant, the healthier and better that plant's going to be. Uh, the uh, with rootmaker.com, that's where these come from. Anything on their site, however much you want to buy in 2021, use coupon code radio 21 and save 15% off your entire order. However many orders you decide to purchase. So let's get down to planting here. We'll start with the orange bell peppers and I'll show you how we do this variety and then that will mimic how I will do the rest of them and then we'll come back and finish them off uh, with watering and mulching them and I'll show you how that works. All right, so you come up a little closer here so you can see what I'm doing. So I've got this filled about three quarters of the way full. We're using a window blind plastic marker, uh, marker so we can know what we've got. Probably got plenty of those around. Any type of marking 
um, object will work. It, this is just what we have available. So here I've got two, four, six, seven seeds. And I'm just going to sprinkle them around. And now when we cover it with soil, since I don't have that ready yet, I'm just going to use this one that we haven't planted. I'm just going to sprinkle, I'm going to go about a half inch of soil or so on them, give or take. Remember, we're using potting, and tap it down, make sure there's no air pockets. We're using good potting soil, so it's very loose and fluffy, so it's not like you're growing, you're trying to start them in very dense soil. You don't want to go out and dig some soil out that's, you know, out of the garden. You don't want to do that. If you have compost and it's sifted, you, you can certainly grow these in compost. We've done that uh, many times, and it's worked very, very well for us. So that's what we've done here. These will all come up. Now, if you really want to get scientific, you can say, okay, I'm going to put X number in each one of these and then also do a germination test in the process of your, you know, if you've got old seeds, if you put 10 in each plant, each cup and seven come up, well, then you've only got a 70% germination rate. So you can do that if you want or not. With the, <clears throat> with the seven there, we'll probably take the best five and move over to the root maker tray in about four to six weeks. Uh, and then we'll we'll bring it back for that process. But that's what I'm doing here. That's what I'll do for all of these. And then we'll come back and talk about watering, light, and moisture retention mulch. All right, I've got them all planted. Many of them in which uh, I planted, I put seven seeds in. Doesn't make a difference to you. Uh, you can put however many seeds you want in each container. Now the the plants or the the varieties in which we had very old seed. Four, I believe we had one that was from 2014. I tripled the, I put 21 seeds in that just to guarantee me something to come up. Um, and then if that doesn't come up, then we know to get discard those seeds. So now we've got them in the party cups for the time being four to six weeks until we get them about two or three inches tall before we move them over into the root maker uh, 32 cell tray. We want to water them, but we want to make sure we hold the moisture in. The potting soil mix in which we've got is very moist already out of the bag from when we purchased it. However, if left like this, it's going to dry out very quickly. And we have to have that moisture next to the seed coating in order for that moisture to absorb in the seed coating, plant to start growing and then the moisture to be there. So what we have found personally to work extremely well is using paper towels. Uh, for this instance, we cook the paper towels and cut into the thirds, and we just cover the top of the soil. Now, these will stay in these containers um, until we see the germination of the peppers. About 50% of the peppers start coming through. You're going to see that in about 7 to, 14 7 to 14 days, maybe upwards of 21 days if you're really in a cool area, and I'll talk about that in a minute. So what we've done is we put the paper towel in, we water it. That's going to, one, allow moisture because we're in the party cups. We can't bottom water unless we poked holes in the bottom of these. So we want to, we haven't done that. So you want to be very cautious of how much moisture you're putting in there. So you're not having a bog and the seeds sitting there and rotting. So the advantage to doing the paper towel is when we water, it's not blasting the soil off of the seed. It's actually kind of filtering it through. And in about a day's time, this piece of paper towel will dry out on the outward side and it'll be a very crust it'll be a crusted molded shape to the cup but underneath it'll be very very moist as if you were using some type of mulch outdoors covering the soil so that will work very well let's talk about soil temperature and how long it will take like i said it can take up to 21 days peppers are a tropical plant they love heat so if anything if you're growing in any type of questionable climate area, such as a greenhouse that's kind of heated, an unclimatized basement, that type of thing, then I would recommend using a heat mat. Uh, they really like temperatures at root zone about 75 degrees in order to germinate. Now we're in a side room of the house next to a radiator that will produce, you know, we're 62 to 70, 68 to 72 degrees. So give or take a little bit, our germination time frame is a little more longer than it would be if we had it under a heat mat. And we really don't want to use the bathroom heat mats, you know, like you, you get for your sore back or leg, just because a lot of these have safety things on them where they only last for so long 
The old style ones, you can leave it on all night and you burn your leg off, that type of thing. If you have those, those may work pretty good on a low setting, but these new safety feature ones, they're not going to work so well and the temperature can get too high. So keep that in mind. Now I'm going to water all these and then once the, you know, keep an eye on about 7, 14 days, we want to keep looking underneath and when we start seeing about 50% of the seeds germinate, and that's why keeping in mind how many you've planted is key here, then we would transplant them over to the root maker uh, 32 cells uh, tray here. So now, what do we do? Well, we're going to talk about grow lights in a minute after I get these watered and what type of grow lights best, how long, all that stuff. I'll get these watered and then we'll meet down under the table next to the onions we planted a couple of weeks ago and we'll talk about what we need to do next. So we're down underneath the table here next to our onions that we planted uh, recently and we've got a radiator here which is a way the home heats for those of you who are not familiar with that type of old technology and it produces at 68 72 degrees that range there which gives the soil enough warmth in order to satisfy the seed germination requirements now with these uh, tomatoes or with these peppers here once they germinate then we'll move into the other trays and we're using the happy leaf led grow light this is an older version this is a newer version uh, the spectrum uh, this is a new generation and they even got a better one than this now um, and this is this one's six seven years old this one's two years old never had have a pro never have had a problem they are on a timer we run it from 7 a.m to 9 p.m and 9 p.m to 7 p.m off and that's just the, the time frame in which we have chose to run um, the lights on and lights off. So uh, notice how high it is from the plants here. Uh, the, the, that's where it's always going to stay because of the intensity of light in which the, the light puts off, the plants don't stretch for light. With a tube light, you've got to have it right on the plant because there's not enough light there. Um, it's always asking, the plant's always asking for more light. With the intensity and the footprint in which this light provides it will cover three 10 by 20 flats and have extra light left over so if you're interested happy leaf they're made in a, happyleafled.com they're made in america great company out of the upper midwest area and nothing uh, but the best they have four 17 and 33 inch lights in which you can uh, get and they will last for a lifetime so peppers Easy to get them started. We're getting them started a little earlier because we want really healthy, happy, good starts to put in the ground. Join me again next time. Thanks for watching as we start more seeds and give you more advice on how your garden can grow better now more than ever. For more information, please visit the WisconsinVegetableGardener.com.